All right, so here's another video. Uh, some people have been asking, how do you clone hard drives? How do you fix hard drive errors? Um, basically, in a nutshell, you have an Xbox, uh, the hard drive could be dying, um, or you just have a stock Xbox and you wanna move to a 250 gig or a one terabyte or two terabyte, whatever it may be. Um, this is gonna show you how. This will also show you if you have one Xbox, with a screwed up drive, maybe you deleted dash files or something and damaged it and it's locked. Um, this will also fix your hard drive. So it will format it, but it will be fixed to put back into your original Xbox. Um, all you need is um, an original Xbox, could be any version, doesn't matter, just soft modded, but you will need a Molex splitter. I guess you don't even really need this potentially. Um, if you really wanted, you could have another Xbox beside it, but you need to power two hard drives at the same time. So this is handy. If you don't have this, um, connect it to a computer, connect it to an Xbox, however you want to power the second hard drive at the same time, you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this Xbox up. This is just a version um, 1.6. I'm going to disconnect the power here. Connect this to here. And basically that just splits our power so we have two cables. Um, would have been probably better if I had this hard drive loose, but oh well. We'll just slide that in there. Okay, so that's our original hard drive. Um, it is soft modded and nulled. Um, but we're going to try to just take this random hard drive from, or out of this box. Let's see if there's another one here. It's nulled. What's this one? Oh, there's one here. Look at this one. So this is a common error. This says error 16 and a 1.6 hard drive. So let's try this one. So this one will definitely be locked. Um, so let's try it out. Okay. So just to see if we do get the error, I'm going to unplug this. We'll, boot, we'll try booting this hard drive. And... We'll see that error, just to make sure that this isn't a working hard drive, and uh, there we go. All right, let's try booting this hard drive and see what comes up on the screen. Oh, we're getting the flubber so far, so I'm guessing this should go to error 16 soon. There it is, so as correct, you can see it fragging down here flashing red light so we're gonna fix that error um, 16 as well as clone the original hard drive to this one so what we're gonna do is unplug this I can actually leave that plugged in plug this back in I'm trying to do it without looking don't mind me there it is all right what you want on your original hard drive um, is the chimp program and also on this hard drive, you want to have it put into slave. So if I look on this particular hard drive, I'll look at slave here, and it says the jumper is to be over to the second spot. I check the jumper, and the jumper's actually in the first spot. Some hard drives, to have slave mode, they want the jumper completely out. This one, they just want it over one spot. So we're gonna pull that out, and move it over one to slave position. Okay, once that's there, I will leave this connected and powered on. I'll just put it over there for now. And I'm going to boot my RMX soft mod. So this will boot up. Do, do, do. I can skip my little intro video here. All right. All right, so in here, like have got emulators. It's my regular Retromania um, stock Xbox build. But if I go to Applications, oh, my daughter dropped the phone. Applications and click on that. We are gonna be using a chimp loader. So click on that. See that boot here in a minute, and this is version 1.01. 1 
Primarily, you will see it called 261812, I believe it is. If you look here for a second, Sienna. So what I'm going to do is, while it's on that screen, I have this hard drive. I'm going to disconnect my DVD drive right here. And I'm going to connect that to this hard drive. So again, this hard drive, we've moved the jumper and we've set it to slave. Now I'm going to take this and push the A button. So you see how it says there, booting chimp 261812. So it'll go through the process. It'll boot chimp. You'll say it says something about bloody cursor and yada, yada, yada. Bunch of gibberish, no controller found. Hmm? Yeah, that's okay. Um, so yeah, so this um, boots up the network. Um, I don't have it connected to an FTP right now or anything, but once it gets to here, I just push the uh, A button. So it says slave hard drive is locked. So I'm going down to soft modded Xbox. Yes, it's correct. And yes, I don't mind wrecking it. Slave drive options, which is number three. And I want to unlock the slave drive and unlock from motherboard. Once that comes up, I say yes. So now that that's unlocked, I go down to slave drive options. So let's say I want to just fix this hard drive. I could go right here to fix error 16 if I wanted, and it would fix that error, and this would continue on. Um, I can format the extended partitions. I can do all that kind of stuff. So because this has that issue, the um, error six or the error 16 code, I'm going to click on that and click yes. So as you can see, it says cloning C partition and it says 1% ETA. Even if this hard drive did not have an error 16 code, let's say it had error six, error 21, um, any other basically hard drive error, this will fix it because um, we can actually clone from one hard drive to the other. <clears throat> right now we're just doing error 16 fix and hopefully this hard drive will boot in this Xbox after I'm finished. All right, so we're coming to the end of this now. It's at 95%, uh, 15 seconds left. That's still the error 16 1.6 drive, it's still going. So let's do a countdown. Three, two, one, and done. And all right, cloning complete, error 16 should be fixed now. So that's how you fix that. So now we can go down to go back. And the other option here, you can go clone from master to slave. So if I just wanted to fix the hard drive, I could do that. Um, and that'll fix your error 16. If I want to actually clone the entire hard drive, I can do that. So basically, let's do that now. Click on that. It's going to say full disk, byte by byte, uh, selective, select, uh, whatchamacallit, selective, select partitions. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do this right now. I, I can, you can just do full disk, byte by byte, and go through your options. It's just, it'll take way too long to do this. Confirm format, no. Um, the thing is, it, it's faster for me to just fix a hard drive and then connect my, once the hard drive is fixed, FTP into it and copy files that way. This way is very, very slow. I might get 400 kilobytes to maybe two megabytes a second, whereas FTP, I can actually um, get up to 11 megabytes a second. So slave drive options, click here. I'm going to lock the hard drive now just because I was, I had it unlocked to fix error 16 from motherboard. A yes. Click that and blah, 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 a bunch of information. And I click, come on, get over. Yes. So that's going to lock. Here, hold this for a sec. See on. Then you can always scan your physical IDE devices. It's supposedly going to say both of them are locked, uh, both are security level high, which is fine. And basically, I'm going to get out. I'm going to shut this down. If you want to look down here, I'm going to shut this off. Now, on this hard drive, I have to take this cable out. I have to put that back into our... I'm trying to do this blind. 
Oh, that wasn't too bad. I got that right away. I'm going to look at our jumper. So we're at the number two spot. So we have to put this back to master. So I'm going to pry this up. Just a little screwdriver like this works great. Uh, and just enough to get your nails in there to grab it. If you have longer nails, you'll do even easier. And I'm moving it over to the first position again. Push that down. Just let me double check. First position is right here. Cable select. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to disconnect the main hard drive and boot this up. And this error 16 should be fixed. See what's on this hard drive. Booting up, We've got flubber. If you look down here, this isn't flashing red and green anymore like it was before, so that's always good. It's saying Microsoft and saying Unleash X, and what have we got? There we go. So we have our working hard drive. That's an error 16 fix for you guys. Um, and now what we can do is, actually I think this is one of my old things, I can go to system, start, select play, or just whatever, skins, here, you click start, select play, and I don't see my skin in here anymore, hang on here, da, 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 da. I don't see skins, so, I don't see iPad. I have to go down to sit ins, go to settings, down here to system. If you're ever dealing with Unleash X, you want to find out where your skins are. So, skins path is E skins. I'm going to E Ninja Light. Hmm, is that what this one? <clears throat> hmm. Is this my Ninja Light build? Dashboard? This could be. This is interesting. I never know what the hell's on these hard drives. Huh. Alright, maybe this is my Ninja build, or uh, Ninja Light build. Hmm. Let's go down to File Explorer, find out. Let's go to E. Ninja Light. Ah, this is my Ninja Light build. Always find stuff all the time. So from this thing, I could go down to... Where is that? I'm on. Where's the XBE? The default. There we go. Default.XBE. If I click on that, I should boot right into Ninja Light now. Look at that. <laughs> I'm always surprised what I've got on these hard drives. <laughs> so I can do a quick rundown of this for you guys while I'm on this. So this is basically a light version on a stock Xbox. Um, if you scroll, look down here, this is like a four point something gig Xbox. And here's Ninja Light running on it. I was playing around with this one. So that's pretty cool, I fixed that. Um, this was actually one, the Air 16. I must have been messing around in there and I screwed up the dash. So I'm kind of glad I got this one fixed. Yeah, I'll leave all the games. That's really cool. This goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Ninja Light. Love it. Perfect. It's on a stock Xbox, so... I know we have this on our main Xbox. Um, but it's kind of cool that we have this on our uh, <coughs> stock Xbox. Right on. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, this one's pretty sweet. Checking this out. Hmm. All right, well, I'll conclude that. I'll leave that. So now you've seen, that's how you boot a Error 16 um, fix. Um, and I have this connected. So from here, if I really wanted to, while I was on the Unleash X screen, I could have FTP'd in and put anything I wanted back on here. But that's how you do it, guys. So we'll talk to you later. And... I'm actually going to probably work on this Ninja Light build a little bit more now. All right, talk to you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.